Welcome for another math lesson. In the previous lesson, we introduced statistics. We defined a few terms and uh, calculated the median for grouped data. In this lesson, we will be seeing how mean is calculated for grouped data. Therefore, the subtopic will be mean. And uh, for grouped data, to calculate mean, we need to get the sum of Fx by sum of f. In this case, f is frequency and f is the midpoint, the midpoints for the different classes. Therefore, we just take a column for the midpoint is established and we multiply it with f such that we get the product of frequency and the corresponding midpoint for that class. Then we add up the fx, then the total of all the frequencies. And after dividing, it gives us the mean. For example, the table below shows the masses of 40 boys. So we have a table here showing the masses of 40 boys. We have a class for the boys and the, the frequency of the number is having the given mass. Therefore, between 50 and 54, we have 7. Between 55 and 59, we have 6. Between 60 and 64, we have 10, 15, 65, and 69. We have 4, between 70 and 74. We have 5, between 75 and 79. We have 4 of them. And lastly, between 80 and 84, we have also 4. someone tells you to find the mean mass find the mean mass for such a data we have said that mean is calculated by the sum of fx divided by sum of f and in this case we can draw the table such that we we'll have a class here. Then we establish a table for x, which is the midpoint. Midpoint x. Then we have the frequencies for the given classes. So that now we will get the product of frequency and the midpoint. The first one is 50 to 54, frequency is 7, 55 to 59, frequency of 6, 60 to 64, frequency of 10, 65 to 69, frequency of 4, 70 to 74, frequency of 5, 75 to 79, frequency of 4, and lastly, 80 to 84, frequency of 4. Therefore, now we can establish the midpoints. 54 and 50, when you add the 2, we get 104, divided by 2, 52 is the mid. Here, when you add the two and divide, you'll find that uh, 55 plus 59 is 114 divided by 257. This one becomes 124 divided by 262. This one, 67, 72, 77, and 82. Therefore, 
these are the midi points for the different classes you can arrange this frequency as well 64 we have 10 67 we have 4 5 4 4 therefore we can first of all get the sum of all these frequencies so the sum of the frequencies is 40 then now we can get fx 52 multiplied by 7 gives us 364 57 multiplied by 6 gives us 342 62 by 10 gives us 620 6 7 by 4 gives us 268 7 2 by 5 gives us 360 7 7 by 4 gives us 308 and lastly we have 82 by 4 328 therefore you can get the sum of fx when we add all of this so sum of fx shall be 364 plus 342 plus 620 plus 268 plus 360 plus 308 plus 328 this gives us 2590 2590 therefore now we can come to our formula say that mean is equal to sum of fx 2590 divided by sum of x sum of x Therefore, 2590 divided by 40 gives us a mean of 64.75. Therefore, when you get group to get the mean for that data, you first of all establish a column for the midpoints and we're calling it X. After getting the midpoints now, multiply each midpoint with the corresponding frequency. That will give us Fx. Then get the totals of the frequencies. For this case, we have 40, and the totals for the fx column. This will give us 2590. After getting such totals now, you can come to the formula, substitute, and give us the mean. There is another case whereby you can be told to find mean using assumed mean. In most cases, the assumed mean is abbreviated. Therefore, I'd like us to see how the mean of a given data can be calculated using assumed mean. Mean using assumed mean. Mean using assumed mean. For using assumed mean to get mean, we usually take the assumed mean plus the mean of the mean of d, the mean of d, and now is calculated by by taking the midpoint minus the assumed mean. Therefore, we check how assumed mean is deviating from the midpoint of each class. Assumed mean is just an approximate value within the range of the data, which we can approximate to be the mean. For example, in this case, let me give an example. In the previous example, Find the mean using an assumed mean. An assumed mean of 60, for example. If you can check this data ranging from 50 to 84, 
then we can approximate a mean of 60. And we use it as the assumed mean for this case. Therefore, what you do is uh, let's come back to the same question. So for this case, we already have the table here for the classes. So now for this case now, when you are using assumed mean, we already have the midpoint column, we're calling x. Therefore, I say the other thing to get is d, the deviation of the midpoints x from the assumed mean of 60. Therefore, we can calculate how the midpoints are varying from the mean. Therefore, we love 52 minus 60. This gives us negative 8. 57 minus 60, negative 3. 57, 62 now, minus 62, 7, 12, 17, 22. Therefore, this is now D. And now, the other thing we should not forget is now the frequencies. So that we may have now FB. So the frequencies are 7, 6, 10, 4, 5, we are totaling to 40. We are totaling to 40. Therefore, now we can calculate FB negative 8 by 7, negative 56, negative 3 by 6, negative 18, 2 by 10, 20, 7 by 4, 28. 12 by 5, 6, 17 by 4, 68, and lastly, 22 by 4, 88. So we can get the sum of FD, the sum of FD, sum of FD will be negative 56 minus 18, plus 20, plus 28, plus 16, plus 68, plus 88, 190. We're getting 190 as the total of FG. Therefore, we said now, in such a case, to get what we call mean, we take assumed mean plus the mean of D. And in this case, assume the mean is 60 plus the mean of D will be sum of FD all over sum of F 60 plus 190 all over 40. 60 plus 190 divided by 40 gives us 4.75. Therefore, total mean will be 64. Point seven five. So when you consider the value we are getting here and the value we got without following the assumed mean method was still 64.75. Therefore, whether you use the general method that mean is given by sum of fx all over sum of f where x is the midpoint and you also use this formula for assumed mean such that we get a column for d first of all such that we are getting midpoint minus the assumed mean we are using. Then we take that column, the column for frequencies, then we multiply to get FD, and we get the mean for D now, which is sum of FD divided by sum of the frequencies. You add up and get an equal mean to the general mean.
Therefore, that's how we get mean using the general formula and assumed mean. Thank you for following. In the next class, we will be studying the measures of dispersion, the standard deviation, and uh, the range, the interquartiles, the percentiles, and uh, a few other things as we conclude the topic. So subscribe to Shifting Rates and share the link. Thank you.